Hi, I'm Johnny. And I'm Conley. Welcome to WDSO's new show, Explain It To Me Like I'm 10, where I ask a question to Conley, and she explains it to me like I'm 10. This week's topics, dogs. Yeah, that's right. All right, so we're going to be talking about man's best friend this week. So tell me, where do dogs come from? Dogs most likely came from Europe and Asia. The Asian dogs then migrated with humans to Western Europe and the Middle East. There were dog fossils from 15,000 years ago. So there's a bunch of different types of dogs, right? Yep, lots. What's what's the most popular? Some of the most popular dog breeds in the world are the Labrador Retriever, Golden Retriever, German Shepherd, Bulldog, and the Beagle. The oldest dog breed ever thought to live was the Basenji. The Basenji were used for hunting in Africa. Do you have a favorite type of uh, dog breed? Hmm, even though my dad hates small dogs, yeah, I like small dogs because I like to pick up dogs. What's your favorite dog breed? I like small dogs, too. I like Pomeranians. What, Those are the cutest. What's your favorite small dog? Um, I was going to say that, too, honestly. <laughs> so what's the? So you like small dogs. What's the smallest dog? The smallest dog in the world is Miracle Millie, a chihuahua. Miracle Millie measures 3.8 inches tall. 3.8 inches? Yes, 3.8 inches. That is crazy. Yeah. How He's, about the biggest dogs? The biggest dog in the world is Zeus, the Great Dane. Zeus stood 3 foot 10 to the shoulder, according to Guinness World Records. So did you find out the most dogs owned by one person? Yes. The most dogs ever owned by one person was 5,000 Mastiffs owned by Kubla Khan. That's a lot of dogs. Think about how much food it would take to feed those. Oh, yeah. Just for one meal, it would cost you more than $5,000. Maybe. (laughs) How about the most puppies born in a litter? The most puppies born in one litter was 24. Only three died. The mom was Tia, a Neapolitan Mastiff. Though it was, the puppies were removed with a C-section. How about the oldest dog? The oldest dog ever was 29-year-old Bluey, an Australian cattle dog. Whoa, that's almost 30 years. It grew up on a farm and often ran with the cattle. Sounds like it had a pretty good life. Yep, that's a really long time. (laughs) Do you have a dog? Yes, I do. His name is Luca. He's four years old. The oldest dog I've ever had is 14. So to put that into perspective, that means that Bluey was 15 years older than the oldest dog I ever had. Twice as old. Yeah, twice in one year. Ooh, I didn't do that. We we should do that. So, Conley, does your dog Luca know any tricks? Uh, he only knows it. <laughs> Have you tried teaching him anything else? Well, he really only wants food. Speaking of food, if you want to train your dog, it mostly revolves around treats and positive training. Do you know about any famous dogs? Yes, I do. Moose, the Jack Russell Terrier, who played Eddie on the NBC sitcom Frasier. Moose earned $10,000 for each episode from 1993 to 2000, making him a net worth of $3.2 million. Moose was replaced by Enzo, his son, in 2000. Enzo played Eddie for the last four seasons. That's a pretty talented dog family right there. Yeah, you'd earn a lot of money from that. (laughs) You know who another famous uh, TV dog is? Who, who? Lassie. Lassie's known for books, movies, radio shows, but probably most importantly and most well-known for TV shows. Lassie ran from 1954 to 1973, and it was the fifth longest syndicated television show. Whoa. Ran for 19 seasons. Over those 19 seasons, there were six different Lassies. Their names were Pal, Lassie Jr., Spook, Baby, Meyer, and Hey Hey. <laughs> Do you have any favorite movies that have dogs? Yes, I Love Dogs. Have you ever seen I Love Dogs? No, I haven't. What's that about? What? You haven't seen I Love Dogs? 
I Love Dogs is a 2018 stop-motion science fiction comedy drama animated film written, produced, and directed by Wes Anderson. Set in a dystopian future of Japan where a pack of banished dogs led by street dog chief who helps a young boy named Atari search for his own dog after the species is banned to an island following the outbreak of canine flu. It's a really good movie. I'll have to check that one out. Do you have any movies with dogs in it? My favorite movie with a dog is Turner and Hooch. Have you ever seen that? Nope, never. Tom Hanks plays a detective, and he inherits a uh, junkyard dog from his friend, and uh, the dog helps him solve murder cases. (laughs) It's pretty silly, and the dog gets in a lot of trouble. How professional. (laughs) (laughs) Has there been any dog shows slash festivals? One of the most famous ones is the Westminster Dog Show which happens every year, and it's one of the longest-running sporting events in the country. The winner of the dog show the most times has been the Wire Terrier. It's won 14 times. Wow, that's for the world, right? How long has the dog show been going on? Since 1877. Whoa, that's a lot of years. (laughs) I bet there's more dog breeds now than there were then. I'm sure there are. How many different uh, dog breeds are there? Worldwide, the World Canine Association recognized 360 official dog breeds. They are broken down into different groups, including sporting dogs, hounds, terriers, herding, working, and non-sporting, and toy dogs. Johnny, do you know any other cool facts about dogs? Queen Elizabeth II has always had at least one corgi between 1930 and 2018. Over the years, she's had over 30 corgis. Whoa. At least it's not 5,000 Mastiffs. Very true. Me and Johnny love dogs, and if you do too, you can rescue a dog at Porter County Animal Shelter, Lakeshore Paws, or your local animal rescue. Thanks for joining us this week. Be sure to join us next Monday at 9 a.m. And again at 4 p.m. Where we're going to talk about the Olympics. Join us next week at 9 a.m. on Monday. And again at 4 p.m. Thanks for listening. If you want to suggest us a topic, message WDSO 983-3777. Bye! 